Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to look at the LEC LCS slate kind of midway between the two uh, series. You had GX versus G2 earlier today, and then you have uh, FlyQuest versus NRG coming up. So I want to take a look at the main GPP here and see what it looks like. Um, and again, what's interesting about this one is that, you know, only everybody only gets seven entries. So yeah, it's uh, it's a little easier to get unique, although it's not completely easy to get unique, but there's 235 total entries. So I'm expecting more uniqueness than normal. So you can almost play the best plays, even though, you know, you're not going to get really low ownership anywhere. I don't think that this is kind of the idea, like the play, um, like weird four, two ones and things like that on a slate that only has 230 something entries. I think that's totally fine and reasonable when you're playing, you know, big GPPs with, you know, everybody can play 70 entries or whatever, but here when there are only 235 total entries, I don't think that this is the right idea. Um, so I don't believe either of these guys are going to have a shot, but let's take a look at the, at the, the more traditional four threes that are live here. Now, again, it's, it's, I'm doing this because I'm trying to get better at analyzing this without just going to the sports projection site and, and looking at Saber Sim for the Sims, I'm trying to get a feel for all this. So we have, and we'll look at mine as well. So G2 did sweep, which is good. Okay. You got the big 40 point GNP um, bonus uh, for these three and, and obviously 60 for up here, but I'm still not sure that, that this is the, this is what's going to necessarily win these three out of five set matches in, unless they scored a bunch. And if you look here, you have 18 to 2, 12 to 9, and 14 to 5. That's not exactly ripping the cover off the ball. So I'm not actually sure whether I favor these four threes, which would be good for me because I don't have any of them. All my four threes are the NRG uh, FlyQuest ones. Uh, specifically, I just really just played the chalk here. I didn't think you needed to get different really when they're 243 entrants. So I just played a bunch of combinations of G2 and uh and FlyQuest. But let's just see what we have here. So right here at the top, the top scorer has 540 with uh these three NRGs. Okay. And I'm imagining that that's what you're gonna get with the top scorer is just the way salary usually works out is mostly NRGs. So we're gonna presume that these I don't want to say they're dead, but because we're rooting against them, we hope they're dead. But obviously, if the, this guy can get NRG home, that's going to be good for him. Uh, here again, uh, this next group, mostly NRGs. This is a 4-3, uh, 4-2. So I guess this is the first 4-3 that we have to look at because this one does have the three fly quests. So this one has inspired quad and the team. Okay, so of the four threes, this one looks to be, well, let's see these other ones. This one is Bwipo, Inspired, and the team, so that's a little worse. Uh, and then we have back to NRGs down here. And then this is Inspired. Buzio and Fly Quest. I still think that the the one with the here, let's let's look at that one again. This one is still the favorite because it's got the, the jungler and the uh the mid laner. So I think this is still the favorite here with at 534 over this Buzio one. And then you have this one. This guy's standing by himself with so this one's interesting. He's got Bwipo Quad and Fly Quest. Again, I still think that these top laners just not scoring all that well. So I think that he's not going to be the favorite here. Bwipo, see, I don't think I don't think any of the ones with Bwipo looking that great. And then you have some NRGs. So it looks as though those ones I talked about already. Well, unless this one, this one, this one. Okay, so this one is is live because it has three. Is that inspired and quad and Bwipo? It's not relying on the team. So this is 521. All right. So I think this one is definitely in play as well. And then a couple of NRGs down here. 
Uh, this one is 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 asking for trouble. I mean, it's just it's a four two one with 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 GX by itself. So this one is two. This is no good. This will be a big tie here between okay, inspired and Mas Masu. Um, so these are all boy, maybe this one's the favorite. So this is inspired and the AD carry. And it's got 510, which is not that much behind these over here. So I, I think that this one is now I consider the favorite. Um, and we still haven't gotten any of mine because mine are all five fours. Uh, and then you get a couple of more NRGs. And then this guy by himself with, ooh, with inspired Masso and Buzio. Because the idea is that is that I think you do want Yike in the captain. But Broken Blade had a I mean Broken Blade in the captain. I mean, I, I was just talking smack about the uh the top laner, but here top laner outscored the mid laner. So who knows? And then let's look at this one. This okay, so this one's a little more interesting. This one has quad, but in the captain. It's got to make up an extra 50 points though. So if these guys smash. This will be fine, but I think if they smash, I think it opens up the four mans a little bit more. You know, like something like this, which is good. It really needs quad to smash to make up for all the points that, he's, that they're behind. But if he does smash, then I think that the five fours are the ones that get opened up. So I think that we're we're probably at the end of the line for these um for these five threes. Here's Shrek. Uh, well, which I'm not sure which Shrek this is, but uh, he's 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 a little bit behind here. And now we get to the fours, right? And that's that's what we have. So remember what we're trying to accomplish here. So so these guys at the top had 521 points, give or take. So that extra that extra guy's got to get 100 more than the other ones. So it seems as though they should be able to do it. I mean, certainly, I mean, given what these other teams have done, you, you'd think that you'd think that that if FlyQuest wins, that that fourth guy, so to speak, is going to get a hundred, that extra guy. So this one has WIPO inspired and quad with FlyQuest. That's that's looks pretty strong. This one's inspired Quad and Buzio. I think these are all very, very close. Bwipo inspired and Buzio again with FlyQuest. But I think what we're looking for is something without FlyQuest in the team. Um, but how far down do we have to go? So, okay, so here's my first one. So this one is the first one that I see that does not have FlyQuest in the team position. And the reason why... Uh, we'd rather not have them be in the team positions because they score less and they get less of a of a bonus. So, so I think that that we're that we're in business here with this one because we get the benefit of Broken Blade in the top lane and he scored very very nicely. We do have Yike in the captain, and then we just need these four to get in there three eighty five, and and this one we're only splitting with two, with two with two. Uh, I prefer to be unique, obviously, but I didn't really tr strive for uniqueness here. Um, right behind is kind of a... So this one might be a, a problem because he's also got four, but he he's he has fly quest in the team position, which is, is, is not ideal. So let's go down to some of these others. Uh, ooh, what about this one? This one's got four, but it has uh, uh, hoo-hi. So it's not a full stack. This one is NRG. And then we're at the next group of four mans of which I am a part. So now we have Bwipo inspired, Quad Masao. I think this is very strong. What what What's better? This one? This is 13 behind, but it has... But it has Bwipo instead of Buzio. I mean, I'd like to think that the support could probably outscore the the um, the uh, the top laner. So I still think this one at three eighty five is the favorite so far of these four mans. 
And then no, now we have to worry about these these with the captain. Okay, so like, all right, we don't we don't have this one. We don't have this one with. Oh, where was this? Oops, we lost it. So this these are the ones that are, that are also very live. Uh, the ones that have four players and without anybody in the uh, without the team guy. But I'd rather have Broken Blade here because Broken Blade already scored pretty well. But we'll just see. Um, so 349 with Inspired in the captain. So we have four with no team position. That looks reasonable enough. And now we have some NRGs. And we're almost getting to where we don't even have G2. Um This one inspired. I'd like to see if anybody has Maso in the captain. All right, so quad in the captain. I think, once again, is inspired jungler in the captain. I'd rather see if we can find Maso in the captain, but let's see this one. Now, once again, inspired in the captain. Another inspired in the captain. So this, these, all these four threes, at least ours, are pretty heavy with 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 um inspired in the captain. Uh, and now we can play this one too. This says quad in the captain as the mid laner. So it is kind of hard to tell who's winning here, but I think I think it's sort of safe to say that. The f I think the four mans of FlyQuest are favored if, in fact, FlyQuest wins. Okay? I, I just think they're going to score 100 in, in either three games, four, or five. Right? So I do think that that is favored. And as I mentioned, we do have a couple of them. So we're going to... I wonder if SaberSim... Um, keeps tabs on that. I don't think they keep anything live, but we're going to take a look at it. And I don't think it does, but let's just see contests. Uh, all contests. Let's let's just see. I don't think so. Uh, no, it's it, it doesn't do that for for League of Legends. Okay, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, for those of you that are, that are sweating this, that are in the middle of the Sunday, uh, I just wanted to walk through my analysis of it. And again, it's it's easier when you have the sports projection site that is that is firing to be able to analyze these things. But um, again, this is just practice, just kind of eyeballing it. That's it.